In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In order to more worthily celebrate the sacred mysteries and the feast of St. Louis, King of France, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> God who brought St. Louis from the cares of earthly rule to the glory of a heavenly realm. Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that by fulfilling our duties on earth, we may seek out your eternal kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Today's reading is taken from St. Paul's second letter to the Thessalonians. We ask you, brothers and sisters, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our assembling with him, not to be shaken out of your mind suddenly or to be alarmed either by a spirit or by an oral statement or by a letter allegedly from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is at hand. Let no one deceive you in any way. To this end, he has also called you through our gospel to possess the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stand firm and hold fast to the tradition that you were taught, either by an oral statement or by a letter of ours. May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through his grace. Encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm response, the Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Say to the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord comes to judge the Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to the earth. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You pay tithes of mint and dill and cumin, and have neglected the weightier things of the law, judgment and mercy and fidelity. But these you should have done without neglecting the others. Blind guides who strain out the gnat and swallow the camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You cleanse the outside of cup and dish, but inside they are full of plunder and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee, cleanse first the inside of the cup, so that the outside also may be clean. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Day, we celebrate the Feast of St. Louis and the actual Feast Day of St. Louis. And we see, if you take the time to read a little bit about the life of Louis IX, King of France, we see really a model for all those who are called to govern, for all those who lead and serve in public office. The most important thing in his life was his duty to God, because he felt that his charge to lead the French people was ordained by God, and he is anointed by God. And he took that responsibility not as so many people would see it as some self-aggrandizement about themselves, but rather that he was fulfilling a sacred duty, and that in his duty as king was a duty to protect the church, to help the church thrive, and especially to take care of the poor. St. Louis is an example for all those who lead because of justice and mercy and his kindness and his fidelity to the faith. It's appropriate then that the Holy Father chose that this would be the day that our new Archbishop would be installed this afternoon. It's the last time we'll say Robert in the Eucharistic prayer, although I'll probably forget tomorrow and say Robert anyway. Uh, so I ask your prayers. Uh, normally an installation of a bishop is the largest event in a diocesan history because it happens so rarely. In the 200 something years of the archdiocese, um, Archbishop Rzanski is only the 10th archbishop. So we, though the uh, ceremony isn't open to the public, it can be viewed on EWTN at two o'clock, heard on Catholic radio, and also live streamed on the archdiocesan and Cathedral Basilica Facebook pages. So it is a beautiful ceremony. Uh, full of, of just great richness of our history. And it'll be very strange for us priests being there without having a packed cathedral. I'm not even sure what that's gonna look like, but um, so I want to be able to assure the new Archbishop of our prayers for him, and that especially on this Feast of St. Louis, he will follow the example of our heavenly patron and to be one who leads with fidelity and kindness. <coughs> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise of the Lord in His name. Our brothers and church. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of Blessed St. Louis, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born in the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you 
a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we have come. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. similar way. When supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of you. mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to the <coughs> Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your grace. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life. Praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven,
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my life. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I am not able at this moment to receive you sacramentally, I ask that you spiritually 
enter into my heart. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of Blessed St. Louis, sanctify our minds and hearts, that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow we will begin having uh, the school children joining us for Mass. On Wednesdays we will have high school and middle school. And on Thursdays, we'll have kindergarten through fifth grade. We did that to try to even out the numbers. I'll be very honest with you, I don't know how the spacing is going to look yet. So I ask for your patience. We're going to try to keep them spaced, even though they will be wearing their masks as they do during the day. Um, but I'm not sure how many pews that's going to take up. So the plan for communion will be to do two stations here and one station on the side, like we've done in previous years. Um, with the kids being masked, I'm not so worried about not so worried about people passing in the opposite direction. Um, so as we're all kind of doing in schools all throughout the country right now, we're rolling with it. Um, but if you see a suggestion how to make it run more efficiently tomorrow, don't hesitate to come and, and suggest that. I appreciate the feedback. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass has it. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. We are protected against the wickedness of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, and the power of God, cast into the Satan, and all the evil spirits, and prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us kneel as we gather together to honor our mother and our perpetual help. We recall how she helped others. Her whole life was a lesson in love. Mother, mother of perpetual help, today, today we face so many difficulties. Your picture tells us so much about you. It reminds us to reach out and help those in need. Help us understand that our lives belong to others as much as they belong to us. Mary, model of Christian love, we know we cannot heal every ill or solve every problem, but with God's grace, we intend to do what we can. May we be true witnesses to the world that love for one another really matters. May our daily actions proclaim how fully our lives are modeled after yours, Mother of Perpetual Hope. 
Mary, you were a woman of steadfast faith. Your faith in Jesus never wavered. Model of all believers, pray to the Holy Spirit for us. Help us not only to accept all your Son teaches us, but to put that teaching into practice. Mother of perpetual help, it was a child Jesus ran to you for comfort and reassurance. You did not see him as only a frail child. The Son of the Most High, the long-awaited Messiah. Following your example of faith, help us recognize Jesus in those we meet, especially the poor and the lowly, the sick and the elderly. Keep us always mindful, dear Mother, that whatever we do to the least of our brothers and sisters, we do to your loving Son. May his words live in our hearts and influence our lives and the lives of those we meet. Let us pray to be open to God's word. Mary, woman of faith, you honored and treasured the meaning of God's words and actions in your life. You generously responded to his word in faith. As we listen to God's word, help us be attentive to his message. May the Holy Spirit enlighten our understanding and give us the courage to put these words into practice. Let us stand as we present our petitions. Grant wisdom and guidance to our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Robert, our priests, and all the leaders of our nation, state, and community. Amen. Grant peace and unity throughout the world, especially in our homes and families. Amen. Grant that young people respond generously to the call of the Holy Spirit in deepening their faith and choosing their vocation in life. Amen. Grant us continued health of mind and body and help the sick to regain their health according to your holy will. May your mother receive us, Lord. Grant eternal rest to all our deceased and to the souls of all the faithful departed. May your mother receive us, Lord. Let us pause now to silently present our own personal petitions to our mother of perpetual health. Let us kneel as we continue our prayers. Mary, humble handmaid of the Lord, we need your example today to discover God's will in our life. You always gave God the first place in your life. Just as you pondered his word in your heart, help each of us to seek his plan in all that we do. Give us the conviction that nothing is more important than doing the will of our Heavenly Father. May we spend each moment in loving and pleasing Him. Help us follow your example in proclaiming, I am the servant of the Lord. I will what God wills, when He wills it, as He wills it, because He wills it. Mother of perpetual help, your picture reminds us that we're to carry our cross as Jesus did. With courage, He endured injustice, abandonment and betrayal, pain and suffering, even a criminal's death. Mary, we turn to you as our model in suffering and courage. You shared in your son's suffering and death, and you shared in his resurrection. We too share in the cross of Christ, and someday like you, we will share fully in his resurrection. Help us be patient in our suffering, and to trust in the loving care of our Father in heaven. May those suffering sickness of mind or body experience your son's healing power. Help us follow his example, and through him, with him, and in him, commend ourselves to the care of our Heavenly Father. Let us ask Mary to watch over all families. Mother of perpetual health, bless our families with your tender motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bring husbands and wives ever closer together, that they may always be faithful and love each other as Christ loves us. God has entrusted to them. May they, they always be known a truly Christian life. Of all children, that they may love and respect their parents. Inspire all people to value Christian marriage and family life. Give us a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our homes havens of love and peace. Mary, our model, help every family grow daily in genuine love for God and neighbor. 
so that justice and peace may flourish everywhere in the human family. From the first moment of her existence, the Holy Spirit filled Mary with his love. By his power, she became the Virgin Mother of God. Through the same Holy Spirit, she became the perfect wife, the perfect mother. Let us imitate her generosity, her openness to the Holy Spirit, and say, Come, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, fill our hearts with your joy and your peace, with your power and your love, with your constant presence within us. Receive the Holy Spirit. May he be with you to strengthen you, above you to protect you, before you to lead you, behind you to encourage you, within you to possess you totally. Through the prayers of our holy patron, St. Alphonsus, through the intercession of our mother, perpetual help, through the merits of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain forever. Amen. Amen. Everyone have a wonderful day. Yeah, they come back.